All right, y'all. So I just picked up a uh, beast of a, a rug. It's nine feet. Um, I'm gonna double check the uh, the measurements, but um, nine feet by 20 feet or 19 feet or something. Um, always carry these on your van. I know I always say these these videos are from my uh, customers. They are, but when I say stuff like this, I'm talking to uh, any uh, cleaner that's out there that you know uh, is trying to learn. I'm not going to give y'all too many tips, you know, about as far as you know what I use exactly how you know. But if you watch my videos, man, you could pay attention and notice certain things and then pick it up. So this, these are just sliders. So we got uh, plastic ones and then we got felt. And then I have a, a, a tub up there in my shelf where I keep all this stuff. Uh, this rug here is uh, uh, has urine on it. The customer, this is a, a, a referral. Uh, it went from uh, one cleaning company. He asked me the certain questions because uh, the customer said it was wool. And I don't, I don't think it's wool. I mean, I know it's not wool, but. And yes, we still. Whew, me, uh, my brother sweating. Had to move some furniture and stuff. Um, usually we don't, again, we don't move furniture, but it was so expensive for me to, uh, you know, I had to, to do the service like that. Because it's such a huge rug, um, because it's such a huge rug, there is a premium on that one. Because I mean, you know, I got space, man. You know what I'm saying? It takes it takes time to work with it, but it's basically uh, filled with the. Uh, I wouldn't say filled, but there's a good amount of uh, urine spots on it that we can see, and it's on the. Uh, you can see them on the surface. So we're going to uh, to work on it. It does have that blue ba uh, backing. Um, so I don't I don't think we're going to uh, to flush it. You know, like in, in a in a bath. Uh, it's so big, man. I can't really I can't fold the thing. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, you know, typically with your with the area rugs, we'll fold it in half and we'll put it in the uh, the pool fill it with our urine treatment but for this particular i'm gonna have to just end up saturating it and cleaning it really really well thoroughly um that this is more so like of a a rug that's um and i hope you guys can hear me because the ac is on but this is like a rug that you would put wall to wall carpeting she said that she had it uh custom made to fit that area um which i knew it was custom made because it's not a size even in that picture that that they sent there's no way that you would find an area rug that is that size um it's just an oddball size so but let's take it back uh more than likely we're gonna have a guest appearance on this one um you guys have he's been with me before but i i don't think he's been on uh on video um because uh, it was like two years ago when we first uh started doing stuff um, he was helping me at some apartments doing the hallways and back then I wasn't really heavy on YouTube. So um, But yeah, so let's go back. Um, I don't think we're gonna do anything on it today um, It more than likely would be something that we will do tomorrow tomorrow We have two jobs. We have an or we have an estimate in the morning um, and then after that we have uh, uh, A countertop which is concrete so we have to uh, polish it up using our uh, our uh, machine and some diamond pads and everything. So I'll show you guys that, um, and then we're gonna seal it. So you're getting some good jobs this year. Um, I don't say I really don't say it too often, you know, on, or I don't say it enough at all on camera. But you know, what I'm saying we blessed, man. Remember that. All right, let's do us for life. Catch you on a minute. All right, here we go. Um, I'm out of breath. This thing is not light. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, 
gonna be just ready to get it in. So as usual, when I do uh, my area rugs, I prep the, uh, the floor here, swept, wiped it down. It's a clean floor to work on. Now we're able to come in and, and clean this rug. First things first, we're gonna vacuum. Um, I'm gonna put the, uh, even though we can pretty much see the, uh, the urine spots, I'm gonna put a light on it, see what we got going. You can see it's pretty soiled. Uh, customer did say it was two years old. Um, and to be honest, when the, uh, what do you call, she had a sofa here, a chair here and here, and then a sofa. Uh, you couldn't really tell that it was dirty. Like it, I mean, you can see the spots, but you couldn't really tell. And then in the middle, she had a, uh, uh, what do you call, um, glass table. So you can see what I'm talking about. And then this side over here was like, uh, there was a, a little walkway to, the, to go to their back door area. So, but what we're gonna do is uh, vacuum first. I'm gonna spray uh, a urine treatment pretty heavy on it. Um, and when I'm talking about the, the backing, this carpet is pretty stiff. Like, I'm not gonna be able to put this into a, uh, uh, a rug bath just, plus this backing, I think it's the way it's on there. It's, um, it's uh, what do you call, like some type of adhesive backing to the back of the carpet. But what we'll do is, is make it happen for it as always. Oh, and then I did tell you guys that we possibly would have a, uh, a guest that will, uh, he's the one that handed over this lead to me um, because he handed it over because the customer said that it was a wool carpet and he asked about you know how to treat wool um, and I thought it was I wasn't I was working so I wasn't really paying attention which you know I should have but <clears throat> he asked he showed the picture and he was like oh you know how do you clean it uh, no he asked first about a wool wool rug, and for me, I thought it was wall to wall, and I'm like, "Ooh, that's a tough one because um, you gotta really suck out the the stuff." Um, and I was like, "Ask ask in the group just to see what they say," because I'm not 100% sure. And then he said it was a wool, uh, or he showed the picture, and I was like, "Oh, it's a it's a rug." I, I, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I said, "My bad." So. Um, so I told him exactly what I would do. I said, but it's kind of hard at this size because this thing is 19 feet long, nine feet, uh, wide. And I don't have the, uh, the space in the pool to put it in there to, you know, to, to really dunk it. And that's when he got kind of nervous and he had the customer call me. I didn't know that he had the customer call me because what I told him is I said, you know, Tell it's going to be a lot of money because of the size, and we can tackle it together. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be his lead, and he was supposed to do all the talking, and the next thing you know, like the next day, I get a, a text from this customer, and she shows me the picture, and she's like, you know, so-and-so told me to give you a call. I'm like, oh, man. So and now, it's, now it's my lead, and now I got to do what I got to do. So what I did was... Um, I told her, you know, you know, we can do it. Um, I got to look at it, went over there, and the edge, I'm like, I don't think that's a wool rug. And she was like, yeah, I don't think it's a wool rug. So it's one of those things. Um, it's definitely not a wool rug. I'm not sure where the wool came about. Um, you'll never really see a, a, a wool rug with like a finished, finished edge like this. I mean, it's possible. I haven't there. I haven't seen one. Um, and then the backing is super stiff. Um, but what we'll do is we'll do a uh, burn test just to double check. Um, the other thing too is wool is a little bit more frizzy. 
I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. So let's do that first. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna, you know, put something on it that don't go on it, but I really don't think so. We'll vacuum it first though. Now <clears throat> the reason why he uh he said he's not gonna come and uh you know, for the cleaning is because he said he thought it was going to be wool and he wanted to see how it was done in person. That way he can do it next time. But I'm not going to, I'm just going to do it the regular way that I would usually do it. Like, and he's seen that before, so he said he doesn't want to come. Now, what I believe is he should have took on the lead, right? Because this is his customer, even though he didn't feel, feel comfortable. He should have took it on. And like when I told him, I said, we can do this together. He, uh... He should have went that, that route. Because you can ask anybody that uh, has cleaned with me before. He's cleaned with me before, but not like that. Not like, but like I had Black Diamond out. We split the money. You know what I'm saying? That's how it should be done. So, that was my lead. I called somebody to help because I I needed the uh, extra hands. And he, uh, I told him, I said, you know what I'm saying? We're we going to break bread together and that's how it should be. So that's why I say this guy should have should have took on the lead <clears throat> and you know probably went out and did an assessment on the on the rug if he wasn't sure. Always, always uh Just go out, man. I don't know. I went out to a job over here. Uh, it was for an estimate. <laughs> and uh, it was this, this, this company that called. And he said, this dude said, uh, you know, we have 93 bathrooms. And we need those cleaned. And I was like, I, I don't really have the... I didn't tell him that, but I'm like, I ain't got the power for, uh, the manpower for 93 bathrooms, yo. <laughs> but I went out there anyway, right? And what I did was we did, you know, we did our, uh, our walkthrough. I saw everything that he wanted clean. He started tacking on other stuff. And I told him, I said, you know, straight off the top, I'm letting you know right now. Uh, cause he was asking about pricing. I said, we charge 150 an hour. You know, so I got to have. I gotta have, uh, I gotta hire like three or four people for that stuff. And, um, and then, you know, you need your carpet cleaning. We can, you know, we could do that too. But what it came down to is he wasn't, uh, he didn't like that price for sure. And what it was, and I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, they already have, uh, janitors they have 10 and 10 of them cannot keep up with the demand of how many bathrooms they have um, so what he was doing is he was trying to see if he can hire a company to come out and do the work that they can't do like they can't deep clean bathrooms like we could so 
when I told him it's 150 an hour, this dude's probably like, man, we're paying them $20 an hour. <laughs> so, I'm telling you that because, and he wanted me to do it cheaper than what they do it for them. You get what I'm saying? So, we're not doing it that way. You know, we're here to try to make money. It is what it is. So, you're, you're going to get that sometimes. I know I can't do 93 bathrooms. It's only me, but I'll hire a crew to make that happen. And, again, he didn't, you know, this is a company that's very, 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 very large in Sunnyvale. Um, it's an older building, so if you guys are familiar with Sunnyvale, put two and two together. Very large, old building. There's only one like that, trust me, very large. It's near Home Depot. Uh, <laughs> but they, uh, they make billions of dollars, and they're being cheap on cleaning because they need to keep the place sanitary. So you're going to get that a lot. But I'm not going to sit there and, and go and lose money, break my back, uh, hire somebody and lose money. You know, ha I have to pay out of pocket because this company is being cheap. No, we're not going to do that. So no matter what, always go out, give it give it a try. You never know what could happen. I told him my price. And it could have been a chance that he said, yeah, you never know. So, but he, I mean, of course, they didn't call me back because somebody else, I bet you another company did it for dirt cheap. So it is what it is. Always give it a try. All right, so what, I, what I'm, let's pick it back uh, around again. So you get a, a, a lead for something like this, you know, say, hey, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let me go out there and let me do a, a fiber test. Do a fiber test. And then that way you can say, oh, you know, it, it, it's synthetic or it's, it's, uh, it's wool or, you know what I'm saying? You got to. You got to be able to do that because if you don't, you're throwing away money. Dude just threw away money, and this is good money. We had to charge extra because it's so large. It's very heavy. We had to move our furniture, um, which the furniture part is not It's not hard. Um, we put it on sliders. So we were able to do it. Um, but you have to charge accordingly because you know what we're working with. You know, you got the product that you have to use. You have to – there's dwell time. There's uh, – you know, you have to have the, the rug sit for a long time to uh, to air out. So there's there's things. I'm not gonna, just going to, it's not a fast job, okay? So, and the, and the customer, she understood that. Like, she asked how long would it be for, for to return it. I told her about three to four days. I'm actually, today's Friday. I'm doing it right now. I do have a job that I have to go to in about uh, 20 minutes. I'm going to go do that job. We're going to take some video of that. It's for, uh, like I was telling you guys, I don't know if it was in this video or another video, but it's concrete uh, countertop that we're going to uh, polish and seal. And then after we do that, we'll come back and finish this up. So, you know, it takes time, man. I got a whole bunch of cars. I got to move cars. I got to clean. I got to, so do what you got to do, but make sure that you do great work. Because if you don't do great work, then the customer's not going to refer you as a customer's you know, me making these videos, a customer can see this. I'm very transparent. You know what I'm saying? They know exactly what, what I'm doing. They know, um, you know, an another customer may look may look at this video and they may want to see exactly how I clean your rug or, you know, different steps that we do. So this right here shows them. All right. But what we'll do is um, uh, I'm going to come back to you in a minute. I'm not sh exactly sure if I'm going to be able to spray the urine treatment now or do it later, but um, right now it's vacuumed. Um, next steps will be spray down the urine treatment and then agitate with the uh, CRB, and then we can steam clean it, and it will sit for, you know, 24 hours um, in this area. Vacuum it up after, we're, after it's dry, get it all good and rolled up for her and take it back. All right, so like I said, we're gonna do the uh, burn test. Get you some of these locking tweezers. You'll always find a little piece like this that uh, that's uh, not a big deal. You can just snip off, get you some sharp. And why am I doing this with my 
Got a left hand. <laughs> Snip it like that. Now you got this. You could burn this, see what it does. That's all you want to see, kind of. And if you need to, you can find another one. It's definitely plastic. It balled up. It's super hard. It's gonna be hard to see, but it balled up like pla it, it, and it's hard. So it's definitely plastic, you know, synthetic. Um, there's no ash. Usually you would, like on the last one I showed you guys, you would see ash on your fingers. Um, it would, to a certain extent. So the, the thread I had was, uh, was pretty uh, thin. Like it wasn't like a fat piece of it. Um, but it would just die real fast. It would be like a nice flame and it died real fast. This one, it just balled up. And it just, that was it. Um, so that's what we're working with. All right, y'all. So from one job to another, we're going to do a, uh, I don't even know if this one, this is the stuff that I use to, uh, to do like urine baths. I really like it, to be honest. I like this, this the smell of it. Smells really, really good, pleasant. But I'm not sure if I can spray it just because it, it has oxygen in it. So we're about to figure that out. But I love the smell of it. I don't even know what the scent is, but it smells like floral. Seems to work just fine. <laughs> It it uh it rises so like right now in the in the in the van I got a five gallon uh, uh, bucket and it was uh, almost overflowing so I was running. <laughs> I hope it's not overflowing. Let me go check on it. All right. It just it just looks very uh, sudsy. <laughs> just because it's it's not meant for this, but you know I want to try out something new. That's why the the stream is so oddball because it's there's a lot of pressure in there because it's it's uh foaming the uh the oxygen in it is adding too much pressure in there pump don't know what to do <laughs> you see what i'm talking about losing pressure i gain pressure That's why I just try to be different, see what I can do, what I can't do. And then after I'm done, I usually just flush the uh, system out with water. Cause I run it through my machine. And let me go uh, prime it one more time and then I'll finish it up. Pretty sure if I prime it will be fine. So I'm trying to do a saturate, like a uh, like pet urine would. I'm not getting the pressure.
the sun's messing me up because I can't really see on the camera. It'll be, I'll probably give it about uh, 20 more minutes to be behind those trees and dark over here. <laughs> So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to uh, do an agitation now and then I'm going to steam it and then I'm going to uh, do my other urine treatment because I don't, I'm just experimenting, you know, you know, I don't want to experiment too much, but I was just trying to see if that'll work because I really like the smell, but it's more so of a, it can be uh, pressurized like that because it's going to fight it. Uh, the, the pressure pump so it's working though I got some coverage on there I used uh, like four gallons no actually three about three gallons because I have four gallons in there but we'll see how it is we'll see how it turns out <laughs> all right y'all so uh it's been sitting for a while i want the uh i want that urine treatment to uh to do its thing and what i'm doing i'm going extra slow on it that way i can get a good rinse one thing a lot of cleaners don't don't understand is you have to rinse the carpet clean and that's what i'm doing right now so just because you know and I've always said this. You see, you see cleaners doing this. They're not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? For me, y'all don't have to listen to me. I ain't nobody. I'm just, I just do my own thing. I'm not in any of these uh, Facebook groups anymore, really. I'm probably in a, a couple of them, but I don't really say anything anymore. Cause everybody likes to do their own thing and I understand you know we all different all got our different ways of cleaning but I'm just doing what I can do you know when, when people ask me you know what product do you use you know this and this and that I don't reply man because it doesn't matter what I use to be honest it, it doesn't matter because there's other products that possibly will do the same thing. So you really got to find your way. I got somebody that asks me questions all the time. They don't be listening to me. <laughs> so don't waste my time. That's how I feel about it. I mean, that's just me though. And that is how I came about why I make videos for my customers. This carpet is looking super clean, for real. It's looking good. Hey buddy, hey buddy. <laughs> she always wanted to be around me. Like literally, she would probably just lay right there, but I don't want her to do something. Uh, mess around and run away. She ain't gonna run away, but she'll do something stupid while I'm outside, you know. I don't know. She's very smart though. She just always wants to be around me. I just, Right now, I can't be watching her, making sure everything's good, and walk back and forth. Just 
still got a stain right there. I gotta go over it. All right, y'all. So take a look how this is coming out. Looking brand new. I know it's very hard to see. The uh, the sun is behind the trees, and uh, I wanted to do this earlier, but you know your boy runs out of time sometimes. It's hard to get to get a good video. Um, I want to start adding some things around here. So I can actually give you guys some good video when I do these area rugs. And I did um, smell the carpet and give it a good, uh, you know, I'm old school, man. I, I smell, I'll get down on my knees and smell the carpet, put my nose in and make sure, you know, it smells uh, uh, neutral. In this case, it smells very lightly like... Uh, like that urine treatment, but it will definitely uh, smell neutral. The uh, the scents that we use, uh, or at least in the, the urine treatment, it's not like a strong scent to where it'll stay there forever. It's really just to neutralize the uh, the smell uh, and work at the uh, the urine that's in the, in the carpet. And right now, what we're doing is we're rinsing that out and as most people know that have been following our our channel or have uh got uh cleaning done by us the uh the rinse doesn't really smell like anything it's a very very light uh citrus smell and it's not really detectable uh, by the nose like that. Giving it some good dry strokes because I did, you know, steam it both ways, went left to right, or yeah, uh, right to left, I'm sorry, and then left to right. So, this is good because when we take it to the customer's home, it'll be dry. Is groomed, and what we do is we uh, we'll roll it back up, put it in some plastic for her so it doesn't get dirty, and just put it back on uh, on her uh, pad that she has. Look at that! Look at the difference. It's looking good. Real quick, I just came out to just double check everything, but I want to show you how. How my setup is I wanted to park here but st stupid car won't start <laughs> uh, I have a starter issue so I'm trying to figure it out still but it's actually better that it's over there because um, it's not making a lot of noise for my neighbors that are right here because I got a neighbor to the left neighbor to the right or behind I'm sorry neighbor to the left Neighbor behind. Let me take a picture real fast. It's looking good. Let me see if I can get a. Yeah, I'm not going to show up. I'm doing this in real time, y'all. You guys see that stain right there? Just rinse it out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a, uh, a little post treatment over it just in case uh, for any of these little spots. That one came out. This one pretty much came out. But just in case. I always go like, I don't know, I always do too much sometimes. But that's just me. Bad boy up twice.
All right, y'all, so we all done. You remember how this looked? Uh, sofa was over there, sofa was here, two chairs here, and then there was a, uh, uh, a center table here. Um, and then you had like in a circle, a little line, a line in the back, and right in here you had black dirt, remember? And then there were various amounts of uh, pet urine you could see throughout. It's not there anymore. So very happy with the uh, with the quality. Um, to be honest, I don't have to put a, because uh, um, remember at the beginning, I told you I was going to uh, rinse it, put another urine treatment. I don't have to, it, it did its thing. So happy with that. You just have some uh, some shadows, or you know, you have a lot of shadow and some some light coming through, so it's hard to see. One thing I do notice is right there, and that's not a shadow. Um, it's like a bleached spot. So possibly they tried to clean something, clean with something, but. Can't even tell really. Not here. There's too many light spots coming in. Um, you know, if this wasn't here, but it's like right in here. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna finish up. Um, just putting stuff away. Just gotta put this stuff away and uh, try to move this car. It's weird because it'll start. It's something with the starter. I had a start uh, a starter issue before. Um, I gotta put this back in. I repaired this on the other side, but this was the one I tried to repair um, at first. I did both, both like that, and then it didn't work. So then what I did <clears throat> was I uh, put like a, a, a mesh, I, I, what they call plastic, welded it in, and then did all that and it, it didn't break anymore so <clears throat> excuse me that's a known problem and over the years this thing's been scratching this pisses me off I try to keep this thing clean it's hard i love this car the other thing was when i first got some rims on here i uh what do you call it because they stick out some it damaged it so what I did was I I had this all painted and one day because I used to have uh, speakers in the back um, went over a speed bump I didn't see it. it was a black speed bump and I messed that up so some things I got to do but I love this car man you know I always say D West for life but it's Mazda speed for life too all right, y'all, I'm going to holler at y'all. It's Daryl, D-West Enterprise. It's D-West for life. Peace.